trying to figure out how to get these uh, damn plays and a uh, risk coach and a diagram and what app, whatever, how can I do it? Well, a guy asked me over in a forum uh, when I posted some plays, how do I do that? And I am a big PowerPoint user, or kind of a power, what do they call them? Whatever, I'm a PowerPoint dude. So this is a video on how I'm putting my plays diagrams uh, inside a risk coach. So I'm Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. Subscribe, like, all that other good stuff, because here we're about to go. All right, so these are the exact risk coaches that I use from Amazon. I've got just absolute tons of these. Uh, I, I guess I didn't put that picture there. It's kind of in the background. So I have tons of these. Here's my bag. I've actually got a bag that I carry carry them in. I guess I've got 18 to 24 of these duplicates. Uh, kids lose them or whatever. I've just got enough if I need it. I really only use it for about eight of my 16 to 1920 players, but I have a ton. So you can get them on Amazon. It looks like uh, you can get them for a set there. I don't know, six for $9.99 and they even and have more if you want to look at it they're pretty cheap they last about two seasons if you take care of them we use them basically like what it shows there the actual play names and then we use them for this which I've started doing this and I know Playmaker X and a lot of folks will do these for you but I've got 3,000 5,000 plays in PowerPoint so I can easily draw up a new play from plays that I already have that's what's going on so just real quick if you know PowerPoint I this will tell you really quick if not we'll just go through the full thing so to create the play box you've ordered your Amazon risk coaches it comes with a little example inside you can measure that off and then you basically draw a box in PowerPoint like this you add your numbers, this little text box up here. You add a text box for the play names. You can see here in blue, that's my blocking box that I've added to that one. And then once you've drawn one on a page, just print it off, cut it out with scissors, old school, and then see if it fits. Uh, it usually takes like three times when I do these wrist coaches every season to get my little plays to fit exactly how I want and look. So that's the first thing I'm trying to do is just make sure that that box fits inside of that risk coach and usually want to put it in each of the three windows. The last window, some reason, sometimes the, the seam is weird. So just check that out. And then once I've got that, like the box that I like, and I and you can see I'm only putting six on a sheet because they get kind of small. Then you start adding your plays, you add the text, uh, and then it's easy to standardize and then go to 18, which is basically what I do here is uh, I'll do that. And so that's the quick way. And now we're going to talk about kind of the long way. So like I said, is basically you want to come over here to the box tool. You're going to draw a box here. It's going to give you a box. You can come over here and say, okay, I just want the box like that. You see how quick that was. And then you can draw some lines. Boom. Okay, so I'm going to draw another line over here. Boom. I think you, I just color it. That's what that's doing. So you can get your colored lines there, and then I'm going to draw a line across how I want. And I'm doing this quickly, but you guys can take your time. And there's my box. And I can format it if I want going down to this form H, format shape thing. There's a whole other tutorial. Tutorial on this that I've done on how to draw stuff and others have so it's out there But this is a quick way to do that. And so that's your box And so right now if you want you can print off your box and see if it all fits Mine's kind of jicky, but uh, you can get the you can get it right uh, When you're doing it a little slower and then to add a box is this little a this little text box thing And it wants to add it down there. So I don't like that. So I'm just gonna put it down here and then type in and say play one and then I can take it and put it up here and I didn't like the play so we'll just call this a one and I think I put that in a different font fonts are over here and I like Arial black because it's big and now I can just copy that 
to each of those squares and change the number. So that's how I do that. Uh, and if I want the text box, I'll just come down here, play name, and that's awful big. So I want to come back over here and go down to like 12. Arial narrow is kind of good for that. So Arial narrow, you can put that and then kind of bold it. And there you have kind of the box filled out. I'm going to probably print this off, scissor it, check, check to see if it all fits. And once that all does, then I'm like, hey, that's really good. And then I can copy this like this and just move it down. And now I've got my 18 play box and then I can copy it over like that. And you can see what I've done down here, all the plays. And so I can print off and then cut those out. Here's an updated one with that. Here's one with no plays in here. But that's how you get that little box, if you're wondering. And I'll try to put this in my private Facebook forum over on Facebook. I've got a group over there. And I'll try to put the link down there. You can join that. And I'll put this file uh, without some of the plays uh, inside that file section in a post. And you can come over and you've got the boxes pretty much that are going to fit that. Amazon risk coach. So now you're wondering, okay, I've got my little boxes. I've got this play. And so I draw the plays kind of close together. I'll color code them here and I try to number so I know what's going on, but I'm really just copying this play thing. Now what I do is, is I take the Windows snippet tool. If you're on Apple, I don't know exactly what's going on there. Um, you just sit new and you do that real, try to get it real close and small and narrow, not too big. Uh, I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to come up here to this and I'm going to hit paste as a paste as an image. And then I am going to shrink this. So it fits. In that little box and there you go and it really helps if everything's color coded for your receivers and backs because they pick out the color they know their color uh, and go through that so that's how I did that I'll show you that again we'll go to another play and I'm not gonna rename the, the plays here's RB fries it's kind of wide if you want to smush it up you could but I come back to the snippet tool new uh, I'm gonna do it really really tight there it is I'm just going to say copy it, come back over here. I'm going to paste it to this sheet as a picture. And then I'm going to shrink it down to what I think the size is going to look like. And there we go. And that's how I'm adding them. And then once I have them in, I print all my, I print them however many I want. If I want to add the blocking thing, I can add that in the blue, like down here. And uh, if I need to update, I can just pull pull one of the things because this one's updated. I pulled some of the plays and put new plays in there. So it's really kind of quick there to do that. Uh, and this is how I draw plays, diagrams, and put them in to my risk coaches. So once again, I use this one, and there's a link there, and it's an affiliate link if you use that link, and I get a little cut of that. And that's what I've been using probably for the last seven or eight years, these cheap ones. They last two or three seasons, maybe. But they have good windows, and I can fit those. And then here's the quick draw the box, add the numbers, add the play name, add your blocking, print it, check sizes, then add your plays, add the text, whatever you want there, standardize it, and then start printing and put them in your risk coaches. These have worked really well for us. We have standard text ones. And then we were using uh, these diagrams for more like our new plays and past plays that we want to install. So this is Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. Hope you enjoy enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. Comment uh, on this video and tell me what you're doing. Uh, that really helps me out. Again, it's Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. Remember to play for fun and winning is funner. We'll see you guys next time. Appreciate it.